Hello everybody! Today on Recycled Crafts with Miss Echo, we're going to show you how to make this fun little frog game where the object of the game is to catch the fly that's stuck on the tongue of the frog in the frog's mouth. Let's see if I can do it. Nope. One more try. Anyway, you get the idea. You flick it around and it should land in there after a couple of rounds of practice. So, hours of fun. Here we go. So in order to make this frog, you're going to need a couple of things. You're going to need a paper towel tube or a toilet paper tube cut to this size. Um, I already colored mine in so that way you're not watching me color for hours. Um, you will need string or floss like we mentioned in the last video. You'll need scissors, some tin foil, tape or a stapler, and I'll show you how to use both. And you'll need crayons. So. The way that we're going to make this today, first, what you're going to do, and as always, um, parents or adults, please use uh, provide supervision for small children who are going to be attempting this craft um, because we will be cutting and using a stapler. So we don't want anyone to get hurt. So first, what you're going to do is you're going to take your paper towel tube or toilet paper roll and you're going to color it whatever color you want it to be. So I'm making a frog, so I decided to color it green already. And I used crayons, but if you have markers, markers would also work. Um, but the crayons work pretty well. I also decided to color on the inside of the tube in red or orange, whatever color you want to use, because um, this is inside of the creature's mouth. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this down to two thirds the size. So that means that you can see these three separate sections. Here is one, two, three. And so we're gonna try to get about a third off of there. So you wanna make sure you're not co cutting the side that you already colored the inside of. All right, and we're gonna use, oops, drop that piece. Where'd it go? Here it is. Um, so we're gonna use that piece later. So now what we're gonna do is we want to attach the string. And you don't want the string to be too long because then the game's gonna be a little bit too hard. So, I don't know. I was, I think the string may be about this long. Seems good. I'm gonna cut the string like so. So now I'll show you how to do this um, two different ways. The first way is with tape. So, you're gonna stick the string through and you're gonna have it kind of cut out, come out a little bit on the other side. So what you can do is you get some tape and then you just tape the string so that way it stays. So see how the tape is over top of the string? I'm gonna fold it around and then the string doesn't go anywhere. It's nice and tight and you can still see the string on the other side. The other way to do this is with a stapler. And that is the slightly trickier way. I like the stapler just because I feel very secure with it. Um, but you don't have to use a stapler. You can use tape. And you can also use tape to seal all of this up. So in order to do this with a stapler, you have to line up where you see the string. And then you do it on the very edge of the stapler. You line it up with where the string would be. And then you've stapled down the string. And you just put a couple more staples in the sides to seal it up on the bottom. So now it's this little pocket. So the next thing we're gonna do um, is if you want legs for your frog like I made, these little legs here, these are absolutely optional. You do not need to make legs if you don't want to. What you do is with the other third that you cut off before, you just fold it down so it's really, really flat. And then you cut out a funny leg shape for a frog. I think that this seems like a reasonable shape. So see how I have one? But now when I fold it open, I have two identical legs. Cut it in half. And then you can either tape the legs or you can staple the legs however you wish. So since I'm using staples, I'll just continue to use staples. Be very careful not to staple yourself. And then here's another staple. 
Oops, look at this. I got the stapler stuck. So I don't know where the other leg went, so I'll just, I'll just take this one off again. But if you want legs, you can make legs. I'll just have a legless frog for now, just in case. So now what I'm gonna do is we want to make the little ball on the end of the string. So this is where our sheet of tin foil comes in. I'm gonna pinch it in the middle until it looks like a really silly bow tie. And then you're going to tie a knot. Ooh, that's loud. You're gonna tie a knot around the tiniest part of the tin foil bow tie that we just made. Ta-da, a knot. And then to hide this, you're just gonna start crumpling up the tin foil. See if you can make it as small and as dense as possible. Just be careful because tin foil, when you crunch it, can get kind of um, sharp. So you might need an adult to help you with this, but I believe you're strong. So there, this is a very, very big fly on a very short string. So it should be pretty easy to do, we'll see. So now we just need eyeballs on this frog, right? Here we go. I'm gonna make these eyeballs black. And I'm going to draw one right here, and another one right there. I'm gonna give the little frog some nostrils like this, and I'm gonna draw big old eyeball circles around it. Um, you know what? I think I'm also gonna give my frog some funny eyebrows. Looks pretty worried. Do you think he's gonna catch the, the fly? I don't know, he might. So now, we have our game ready to start playing. Here we go. Nope, we didn't catch it that time. Not that time either, oh no. Ah, <laughs> uh, he didn't catch it. Well, maybe Miss Echo just needs some practice. But in any case, that is how you make a fun little game to play around the house um, out of items that you would already have at your house. Um, and again, join us next week. Next Tuesday, we'll make another craft out of recycled objects. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this craft and have a great day. Goodbye.